Cameron, look yeah. everywhere for you. Calm down, oh. Sam. We're okay. Well, what's going on? I've lost them. Oh. One minute they were here, the next they're just gone. Wait, That's out into thin air. What have you lost, Sam? Wait, Sam, have you lost the sheep again? Seriously, Sam, no. you're a shepherd. You only have one job. I haven't lost the sheep. They're over there. No, Jacob, it's my glasses. I've lost my glasses. I can't find them anywhere. And I've not left a stone unturned. And I'm blind as a bat without them. I even checked under the sheep's tails, but they do not appreciate that. Sam, they're on your head. Sorry, what? The they're in your bed? No, no, no. Why would they be in your bed? Sam, That's a really weird place for my glasses to be. Sam, they're on your head. What? They're in the shed? Who put them in the shed for goodness sake? I need my glasses! Sam, what? they're on your head! Head! Oh! <laughs> Here they are! Oh, that's... <laughs> Funny how that always happens, isn't it, Jacob? It's uh, <laughs> hilarious. Oh, look! There's... There's Tony and the other yeah. lads. When did they turn up? All right, lads, how's it going? <laughs> Stop <laughs> waving, Sam. They, they don't like it when you wave. Yeah. Sam! Oi! You like a nice shape! You're always disturbing him with all your silliness! Yeah, there's a reason we call Sam the Silly Shepherd! What's got into them, Jacob? I was just being friendly! I know, Sam. Listen, it's not your fault, okay? They're just grumpy and tired and irritable, you know, for being stuck up here all night when it's freezing cold. I guess it's the joy of just being a shepherd. Just being a shepherd? Just being a shepherd, Jacob! Do you not remember what happened to us? Do you want me to tell you the whole story no. again? Do you need me to remind no, you, Jacob? Sam, but Sam, I don't need you to remind me. I was there. It was not the type of night you tend to forget. I don't know, Jacob. You can be pretty forgetful in your old age. Me? Forgetful? Coming from you, the guy who forgets his glasses on his head? Whatever. Anyway, do you want, I'm going to tell the story because I want to tell the do story. Want, if you want to tell the story, knock yourself out. Good. Well, I'm going to tell the story. Maybe they want to hear the story too. Here, lads, do you want to hear a story? Shh. Oh, well, I uh, guess it's just us then, eh, Jacob? You be. That's the spirit. Let's go, shall we? Anyway, it all started a little while ago. I spy with my little eye some beginning with S. Oh please Sam, I don't want to play I Spy again. What are you talking about Jacob? Everyone loves I Spy. No, not this shepherd. We do it far too often. Fine. The S stood for sheep by the way. What a surprise. It's always sheep. Well, that's because that's what we do, isn't it? Look after sheep. Anyway, it's your turn. No, no, I've already said I don't want to play, okay? Let, let me just focus on the sheep. Okay, fine. I'll go again and you guess. I spy with my little eye. Greetings. Ah! Please don't scream. I have good news. Ah! Seriously, relax. The saviour of the world has been born in Bethlehem. In, in Bethlehem? That's right, and you've been invited to visit him. Us? Yep, you'll find the saviour wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. Jacob, what? Do you think you can remember that? I've got a head like a sieve. Sam, I don't think either of us will be forgetting anything that happens tonight. Right, now the message has been delivered, it's time for my angel friends to sing. Enjoy meeting the Messiah. Away in a manger, a crib for a bed. The little Jesus went on to sweet kids. Whew, that was some night, wasn't it, Sam? Oh, it really was. I, I couldn't believe that we were visited by an angel. I know, and, and then when we ended up in Bethlehem, well, I can't believe where we find the saviour of the world. In that room full of animals there, there was a donkey. That's right. <laughs> and all those chickens. <laughs> and even some cows. <laughs> and then we turned up with some sheep. <laughs> I tell you, when we turned up, it was a real zoo, wasn't it? Or a petting farm. <laughs> Although, I thought the best thing in the whole room 
was little baby Jesus asleep in Mary's arms. He was just the cutest! He was cute, wasn't he? rock a bye baby on the treetops When the wind blows, the cradle will rock and wasn't it amazing to hear Mary's story? It was. We weren't the only people visited by an angel. What was it Mary said it was uh... I was tidying up the house when suddenly an angel appeared. Greetings! I screamed! Ah! Ah! Don't panic, everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna give birth to God's son. I didn't know how this could be possible. I wasn't even married, but the angel said, Don't worry, anything is possible with God. Then the angel left. I was scared, but I decided to trust God. Mary was really brave, wasn't she, Jacob? Oh, she was, especially when she had to go and talk to Joseph. Do you remember, he was the husband to be at that time, oh, yeah. and they weren't married, but she said she was going to have a baby, and he was not happy. I'm not happy. He thought that Mary had made him look like a fool. <gasps> Mary has made me look like a fool. In fact, he was going to tell her that they could no longer get married. We can no longer get married. But then one night when he was asleep, an angel appeared. Another one? You can't move in this store without bumping into an angel. Oh, there's an angel over there. Oh, there's an yes. angel. Yes, Sam, so Put one over there right now. Settle down, Sam. You see, this angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph! Joseph! Shh. Shh. Listen carefully. You are to marry Mary. She will give birth to your son. Shh. Shh. You will call him Jesus, and he is going to save the people from their sins. Got that? When Joseph woke up, he was confused. Uh-uh. I'm confused, but I'm going to trust God. Wow, that was brave. Although, remind me again, how did they end up in Bethlehem? Oh, you know this, Sam, they came because of the census. Oh yeah, the census. Yeah. Sorry, I I've forgotten, Jacob. What's a census? Oh, Sam, we've been over this before. Do, do you not remember? I told you it was, it's when a government counts all the people in its country. Oh. And so everyone had to go back to the town their family was from. And Joseph's family, well, they were from here in Bethlehem. That's right. I remember that now. The place was absolutely jam-packed with people. No one could find anywhere to stay. Yeah, including Mary and Joseph. And Mary was really pregnant at the time. But every door they knocked on, they got the same answer. Sorry, no room. Sorry, no room. Mmm, this is terrible. I need to sit down. I'm sorry, dear. Actually, we might have somewhere you can stay. Follow me. I'll tell you what, Jacob, that innkeeper really saved the day, didn't he? Yes, you know I'm sure at Bethlehem there were some more comfortable spots, but it was warm and dry and that was important because later that night, well, Mary gave birth to her son, Jesus. And then we got to meet him! Woo! Quiet, Sam. You're going to wake the sheep. Oh, sorry, sheep. But we weren't the only people to visit Jesus, were we? No, no, you see, a little while later, do you remember that star appeared over Bethlehem? Oh, yeah. Followed by some wise men from the east who knew the star was leading them to a special king. There's the star. Over at Bethlehem, just like we're told. Doesn't look like a sort of place a king would be born. Oh yes, and they had those fancy gifts. Oh, I thought it was going to be for my birthday. Except it was eight months before your birthday. What's the matter? Anyway, I think we can agree they were pretty cool gifts though, weren't they? I hope the king likes the gold. And the myrrh. He's bound like frankincense. Bethlehem wasn't the first place they visited though. No, it wasn't. In fact, did they get lost or something? Maybe they should have invested in a sat nav instead of a star nav. <laughs> yes. Do you get it? Yeah. Star nav. Very good, Sam. You're star nav. Yes. Very, very funny. Anyway, I don't know <laughs> if they were lost or not, but you're right. They ended up in Jerusalem first, and that's where they met angry King Herod. <gasps> who hadn't been happy at all to discover they were looking for a new king. I'm the only king around here. His advisors figured out where this new king was going to be born, and then King Herod 
came up with an evil plan. Ah, 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 ah. He was going to trick the wise men in coming back to Jerusalem to let him know where Jesus was. But God had another idea. You see, after the wise men gave their gifts to Jesus and worshipped him, well, God sent an angel to them to visit them in a dream as well. You must go home a different way. Another angel visit. Can you believe it, Jacob? Another angel. That Jesus must be pretty. Special. Yep, listen, I think if one thing's clear, it's that God has pretty big plans for Jesus. Oh, I'd say he does, Jacob, although I'm just glad that at the start of those plans, we got to visit him. Yep, just some smelly, silly shepherds like us. Just some smelly, silly shepherds. Do you hear yourself, Jacob? Do you hear what you're saying? We've just seen the newborn saviour of the world. I don't think that God sees us as just silly, smelly shepherds. I think God might actually just like us. Joe you know, Sam, that might be, well, that might be the most sensible thing you've ever said. <gasps> and, and you're right. You know, that, that God sent Jesus as a saviour for the whole world, for us. Maybe that means that God loves everyone, whether they're a king or a shepherd. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Although, it has just occurred to me, I know we're no longer just shepherds. But uh, we are still shepherds and, uh, and the sheep are wandering off, so we probably need to get after them. So uh -oh. uh, that'll probably do for the end of our story time. So, uh, okay, but yes. Jacob, uh, one slight problem. I've lost my glasses. Sam? Yeah? They're on your head. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Found them! Come in!